Good morning guys, I'm off to Seoul now in this lovely, lovely weather. Uh, yeah, no, it's um, sort of raining at the moment. It's not too bad, it was absolutely tipping it down earlier. So I've just waited, it's about 11, no, no, 12 maybe now. The usual time for me to leave a hostel. Um, but yeah, I'm walking to the bus station, it's about a four hour bus journey to one of the stations in Seoul. But then after that, I'll um, get a metro. It's, it looks fairly simple, it's in English. Now I've said that, it'll probably be a fucking hell experience. And I've just met more people that are in Seoul. So I've got loads and loads of people that are in Seoul which I can meet if I want to. So I'll figure out what plans to make them there. I've booked two nights at this hostel. I don't know where I'm going to be going after I get there and what I'm going to be doing. So I'll figure that out when I get there. Sorted the bus out, one coming in half an hour, 21,100 euros. 17 pounds, not bad for a four hour bus journey, I think it's four hours. Yeah, so um, I'm quite happy with that to be honest. So, rides at one, and that's just got half an hour to kill. I'll probably start looking for the platform in about 10 minutes. the soul now to find a metro station and get myself to the hospital as a uh, I don't know exactly where the metro station is from here but I presume it's gonna be close so I'll go find one I've got a map saved in my phone so I basically just got to navigate back to Seoul Central the last train couldn't record it you know, it's the only one stop it's like everyone crammed on there like sardines but um from what i know my hostel wasn't too far away it's like on the other side of the station but i have to walk down a bit and then get across i think i don't know right <coughs> went to the wrong place apparently there's three different places called maru guest house so no i went to the wrong one so on to the next um, that was quite funny, I was walking in and like, we don't have your name, and then I, but thankfully, thankfully it's not far, like it is only literally like a walk around the block, and then I'll be there, so, thank God. <laughs> Turns out the guy in there sent me in the completely wrong direction, it's at Jong Station, so I basically have to go to the centre station, get back on that green line at the time, and get to the other side of the city, which is joyful, but, oh, whatever. It happens, you've got to expect it to happen. You've just got to do that train journey all over again, but to get to the other side of the city. But I'm quite happy to be out of this area because it's not the nicest of areas. But, um, no. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I was thinking, oh, I was only down the road and there's nowhere. Nothing down here, it looks like a fucking shit hole. Right, I think I'm almost there. I can see the bikes on the other side of the road, so now I need to cross, and then I should be five minutes. This looks like a bit of a better area, I'm not gonna get mugs in this area. <laughs> and it's a bit more reassuring, I'm not gonna get food poison or anything. Thank fuck that. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I don't know after now, I might. I'll go have a shower and stuff, and probably get something to eat, and that'll be it for the day, oh, for obvious reasons. Anyway, I'll chat to you in a bit. Good morning guys, as you can see I didn't go out and eat anything yesterday. I got a takeaway which is the first. It was uh, 7001 which was lovely. It was, uh, no, didn't go back outside. After walking around the whole of Seoul yesterday, it was lovely to know I didn't have to go back out. Today I'm with someone called Cindy who unfortunately <laughs> dealt with me yesterday. <laughs> she's um, she's uh, basically seen the whole of Seoul already, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> sleeping in the, in the dreams. 
but we're going to go out today and have an explore. We're going to the National War Museum for whatever it's called. I always get the name mixed up, but it's basically like a history museum. Something I really want to do. And tomorrow we booked up the DMZ tour, which would be really cool. Like, can't do the JSA because um, there's been an earthquake in North Korea, which is actually a nuclear test or whatever. So they said it's like it's all been cut off completely for that, which is a shame. But on the bright side, this is half the price, so we've basically got an excuse to pay half the money right now, which I'm happy with. I didn't want to be paying 90,000 won for a day tour, whereas this is 46,000. So it's eight in the morning, which is going to suck, but at the same time, just think, ah, oh, we'll deal with it, and then I'll let my, there's no dryer at the fucking hostel, and I've washed my clothes, so they'll probably still be wet by that time anyway, so I'll probably be grateful coming back going, ah, oh, they're dry at last. I've just come out of the metro station, just about to uh, go walk to this memorial. We think <laughs> this poor girl is trying to figure out her cameras. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> it's just. Uh, <laughs> right, after walking around and navigating through the metro, we've uh, got to what we think is the memorial. I'm really looking forward to this because it will uh, be nice to have a stroll around and sort of see like the place and stuff. So, anyway, I'll get some footage from inside. While you're walking around you can sort of see like it's basically i always think the korean war is like a recreation of like or a smaller version of the cold war because it's a uh, you know you basically had like america and china fighting within the principles of korea and like you see all the weaponry they have and it's all those same ones you saw in the the marches and all the back in those propaganda videos which are like yeah we're the more superior country and all this and you can definitely see that here where like you know those similar vehicles and also you, you see the world war ii vehicles like the tanks some of these tanks were old retired tanks which were meant to have been done with but obviously america didn't have the funds they wanted in the korean war so um you know they're reusing vehicles which weren't meant to really be used anymore really so it's uh, it's definitely interesting to walk around and see it anyway go and see a few more vehicles It out. We went the wrong way in the museum and now we're walking out the entrance. So if this is a backwards experience of what the Seoul Museum's like. We had a great day today to be fair, it was actually quite a lot of fun. Like, because it's free and the amount of stuff you get here, it's amazing. Like, um, it's so factual as well. It's like amazing how much participation went into that war. You know, it's, uh, but then it just makes you think like, war's such a crazy thing, like how we just go about killing each other. I have like a territory. Right, we just got the metro back. But now within our area where the hostel is. Not the wrong one today. Um, I'm going to try and find some food. Right, a quick change of plan. Um, you get some money first. Right, another update. I right, basically have done my laundry and uh, now we're going to the bank. Right, I've been walking around, we've uh, gone to many places and looked at many menus and it's either, it says what it is in English, 
with no price or it says the price so no English so um, you guys <laughs> really disappointingly get a nice takeaway for about 7,001 it's about five pounds and it's a massive meal and we've literally both been thinking about that the whole time we've been walking around it's a disappointment for you lot onto joy for me is what I'm gonna say anyway chat in a bit